Hi there, this is Terry from Stamping Magic. Welcome back to my channel. Today's project is another Christmas card using the Snowman Season Bundle. Now I've called this my Frosted Snowman card because I've covered him with our new Ice Stamping Glitter. So he looks like a real snowman. So let's get started. These are all the measurements you need for the various elements required to create this project. So if you're interested in reproducing it, you can take a screenshot and refer to it later. This is the Snowman Season stamp set and I'm using this snowman today with his arms, his hat, some snowflakes and the Merry Christmas sentiment. I'm going to be stamping on some scraps of thick Whisper White card and I'm going to use Memento Tuxedo Black Ink to do my stamping. So I need one snowman, one hat and a pair of arms. I'm using my Stamping Blends alcohol markers for the colouring and I'm starting with dark pumpkin Baha'i for the carrot nose. Then I'm switching to light smoky slate and I'm going to add this around the head and around the, the chest and the lower body. Then I'm going to blend this out using the colour lifter and this will just soften those lines. Next I'm switching to the light flirty flamingo and I'm adding some colour to his cheeks. The berries on the hat are real red and the leaves and the band on the hat are shaded spruce. I'm colouring the rest of the hat with crushed curry and this is dark crushed curry. And that's the colouring finished. It's very quick today. So I can now go ahead and punch out all these items using the Snowman Builder Punch, which coordinates with this stamp set. If you struggle to align the image with your punch because you've cut your cardstock too small, then just use a post-it note to give you a little more reach. I'm going to add a little glue to the end of each arm and then position these onto my snowman. It's really nice having these separate because you can then position them wherever you want to put them. Now I can add my ice glitter and this glitter is beautiful. It's like a clear glass glitter but obviously it's not glass. Now I'm going to adhere this in place using the fine tip glue pen and I'm just going to work on one area at a time. Now you don't want to lay down too thick a layer of glue. Um, for one it will take ages to dry and if, it, if there's too much it may buckle your cardstock. This is why I'm using thick Whisper White as opposed to the normal weight. So it's, it's a little bit stronger and less likely to buckle. So working on just one area at a time, just lay down enough glue just so that it will be enough to hold the glitter in place. And the nice thing about this is as it dries, you'll be able to see the snowman features that are underneath it, they'll become more clear. I'm now going to start on my background and I'm using balmy blue ink for the sky and I'm going to apply it using a piece of stamping sponge. All I'm going to do is pick up some ink with the sponge, dab off the excess and then apply it to the top two thirds of my mat using very light pressure and a circular motion. Now 
Then, still using the Balmy Blue ink, I'm going to add some snowflakes just randomly all over the top part of that mat. I'm going to stamp my sentiment using the Stamparatus and I'm just adding my mat into the corner. I've already um, placed my sentiment stamp. I'm going to use Memento Tuxedo Black Ink and I'm going to stamp it twice so I get a more intense colour. Now I'm going to heat emboss this with clear powder and I have already prepared the cardstock with the embossing buddy to remove any static that might have been there. I've cleaned off my stamp and now I'm going to over stamp that sentiment again using Versamark ink and I'm going to repeat this for a second time. Then I can cover my sentiment with clear embossing powder. and finally heat set it with my heat gun. I have another small piece of the Whisper White cardstock and this is just normal weight and I'm going to emboss this with the High Seas embossing folder. Now this folder is amazing because you can not only create seas with it but if you turn it up the other way, it looks just like clouds, or in this case, snow banks. So I'm just going to add this inside the folder and run it through my die cutting machine. And this is what it looks like when it's complete. So you can see it looks like seas and waves, but if you turn it the other way, it looks just like clouds or snow banks. Now I am going to trim the top part off, so I'm just following those curves with my scissors and cutting away the top piece. And you cut away however much you want. Um, what it looks like will depend on where you place it within your embossing folder. So it's your piece is not necessarily going to look the same as mine. Now on my original card I didn't use the ice glitter for the snow banks, I used our dazzling diamonds glitter. I thought it might look better because it's a finer glitter but this time I'm going to try the ice glitter and see how it looks. Again I'm going to adhere this to my card using the fine tip glue pen and I'm just running lines of glue where I want my glitter to stick. Now I'm not doing the whole piece in one go because um, when you're just using a tiny quantity of this glue it does dry very quickly and I want to get my glitter on there before it dries. I'm now going to add this snowbank piece to my sentiment panel. Now I'm not adding glue right to the top of the snowbank section because I may tuck my snowman behind it just at the top. This section can then be layered onto the balmy blue mat. And then this whole piece can be added to the front of the card base. I have a white mat for the inside of the card and I'm just going to decorate this with a small strip of balmy blue cardstock and I've added some of our now retired gingham gala paper to it. 
then this piece can be added to the inside of the card. And this is how the little snowman will look once he starts to dry, he's still a little damp. I'm going to add him to my card now anyway. So I'm just adding three blobs of glue behind his head and his body and a little glue on his arms. Now I could tuck him underneath that first snowbank but I decided not to and I'm going to stick him on top this time. And then I've added dimensionals to the hat so I can remove the backs and then position this onto his head. And that's it, my card is now complete. He's now completely dry. I think the ice glitter worked really well on the little snow banks. And here's my original card. Remember this one was done with dazzling diamonds glitter. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this project. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notifications bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Bye for now.